we travel back in time to the place where Harry, Ron, and Hermione buy their wands. Welcome to Diagon Alley. It's looking a little Harry Potter around here, isn't it? Well, actually, this street leads down to the Market Square, or Place Plumereau, one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites here in Tours. This is Place Plumereau, looking like right out of the Beauty and the Beast. These beautiful half-timbered houses were built in the 1300s and 1400s. But why half-timbered? Why not full-timbered? Well, this architectural style actually started back in Roman times, known as Opus Craticum, and was used simply because it was cheaper than cutting down a bunch of trees to build a log cabin. Ah. The filling was everything from mud to hay to stone, whatever was available and free. These fairy tale beauties popped up here in France from the High Middle Ages through the 19th century, when the beautiful bright white plaster was added. Eventually, these long poles became scarce and hard to bring in through the windy streets of villages like Tours, and the fairy tale came to an end. Fortunately, these storybook houses were spared and can be enjoyed today. Next, just around the corner from Place Plumereau, there's a bunch of cars and bicycles driving right through the middle of a church. All along Rue de Alze, you will see all kinds of light-colored spots here along the sidewalk, like that guy and this guy. Why are they there? Well, it has a little something to do with that guy. Yep, this is a church, or at least what's left of it. The Basilica of St. Martin was once one of the largest churches in all of Europe, but today it's in three pieces. And it's yes. been that way for quite some time. Why is the Basilica in three pieces? The Basilica was in the way, so they blew it up in the air. Yep. Tour was in need of a new road, and this Basilica was in a state of disrepair, you see. So the only logical conclusion was to make it a drive through church. <laughs> And so as we're standing here, we have cars that are driving through the church, bicycles and cars going they through the church. Through. It's insane. It's insane. They are driving through the nave, the main they nave. They are driving the through Basilica. the nave. That, that's a speedy way to get to the altar, yeah. isn't it? Well, before you could drive through it, this was a beautiful basilica dedicated to St. Martin, a fourth century bishop with a heart of gold. St. Martin was chosen as the new bishop of Tours in the year 300. 71, and he stayed until 397. And he was known before that for making miracles, having built the first monastery in France. And he was known for giving everything he had, he possessed. And one day he met a beggar who had no clothes on. Martin had nothing left but his cloak. So he cut it in two and he gave it to the man. So from that time onwards, he became the symbol of charity. and a church was built in his honor here, but not this one. There were several churches of St. Martin over the centuries that either burned down or were destroyed during wars. So when this one was built in the 1800s, the builders had to be real careful about a certain treasure that was left behind from the original. <laughs> 